You're getting into still mace training, but then the thought comes to your head, what still mace weight should I use? I'm gonna help you answer that question right now. So here's the deal guys, there's a lot of factors to what weight you should actually use, but I'm going to make this real simple and just easy to understand. If you're just getting into still mace and you haven't been really working out much, I definitely recommend the 7 pound mace. It's, it sounds light, but it's not once you start moving with it because um, the still mace has an uneven weight distribution, so what that means is that all your weight if I do this, is to one end. So um, it's all at the head here on the mace. So it might seem like it's nothing, but it actually turns into quite a bit of weight. Now, just because you're a beginner doesn't mean that you can't start with a 10. Most uh, coaches and trainers, still mace trainers, they start you off with a 10, like if you go to their workshops or their classes. So this is the 10, and I want you to notice that the 10 pound is much longer than the seven pound. So that's something to also consider. You want to stick between the seven pound and the 10 pound. But if you want to get a little more of a workout, it's definitely the 10 pound. Now, another thing that you have to consider when you're starting still mace training is not going too heavy. And this is actually something that I talk about in my Patreon uh, exclusive podcast. I go into how to prevent injuries when you start your still mace training. And it's very important to understand that we might think that, you know, looking at a mace, um, you might, especially if you have a background in like Olympic weightlifting or CrossFit or any type of, you know, weightlifting, uh, you might think that this looks like nothing. So the farther away you are from the head, the heavier this seven pound will feel. Okay, so keep that in mind. So the different sizes that are available for the maze, it starts at 7, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So there's two types of um, styles. Um, and obviously every day there's a new style going on, but those are your like main uh, styles going around now. You have flow, okay? and you have a traditional. So you want to consider what style you're going to get into because that really is going to contribute to the fact of the weight. So I haven't personally graduated to a 15. I've been literally stuck at the seven pound and the 10 pound mace. And I stay there because I'm very humble and I respect the mace and I need to work my way up to it. And I feel like that should be the mentality or the mindset when you get into the mace. Um, but here's a cool tip, uh, something else you can try. Get a variety of sizes, so I have my 7 and my 10, and you can start doing a more dynamic or active warm-up with the 7, so really warming up your body and getting that mobility in. And then you can move on to your 10 so that you can get that nice strength and conditioning, um, even metabolic conditioning effect what the mace okay so you can switch between weights um, you don't necessarily have to warm up with the seven you can actually do your whole workout with the seven but you can definitely move between um, between weights during your still mace session but remember we all are going to have different fitness goals so if you're in a sport that's something to consider because you're obviously going to have a sport related goal if you have a fat loss goal it's going to be different than someone doing sports so Kind of thinking about your fitness goals is also another factor to think about when you're thinking or considering what weight you should purchase. So in conclusion, if you're beginning, um, stay between the seven and the 10. And if you're, um, obviously if you're female or male, it's gonna, it's gonna impact it a little bit. Men can start with the 15, especially if they have been lifting or have really good upper body strength. But that doesn't mean that you have great balance and stability and coordination. So think about that guys. Just just make sure that, um, I'm going to summarize this, just make sure that, you know, you get um, the weight that feels right to your body. Make sure that your body is owning the middle. If it's moving around and rocking and you're falling and the swing doesn't feel right, then move down weight and get creative. You can totally get creative, get different uh, variety of weights and uh, try them all out while you're having your still session. Have fun with it. 
flow, you know, um, focus and be aware of your body at all times when it comes to the still maze. Again, you want to have that mindset. Anyways, I hope this helped you out. I'm going to bring you more videos like this that I hope you will find beneficial. May the universe always flow with you.